Hey, what's up YouTube and welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video I'll be covering the slide tool in Cinema 4D. Uh, the shortcut is MO. Uh, so let me just create something for you. Uh, I'll just show you how to, for example, create a crease in your mesh. Uh, so let's just start with the plane. And we have to drop the subdivisions to 1 1. We just start from scratch and make it editable by clicking C. And uh, let me just rotate so we can see better, 90 degrees, and we have something like this. And uh, just activate your uh, grid shading lines so you can see the subdivisions. And let me just start adding cuts in here. Uh, so we'll just do a loop selection or a loop cut tool, add two cuts here, that's good. Add a few cuts across like this, and then a few more cuts like this. Let's put that in the middle. And uh, the way we're going to create this crease is uh, bevel the middle edge. Let me just filter the grid as well. It's kind of distracting. Uh, okay. And select your edge like this. And just bevel. You get something like that. And now we can extrude that bevel that we just created. So I'll just select the, the three faces and just extrude. And now all you have to do is delete the side faces. Delete, delete. And when holding command, drop in the subdivision surface or I think it's option. I'm, I'm working on the Mac, so it's always confusing. Yeah, it's option on the Mac. As you can see, we got this uh, nice crease going. So for the slide tool, uh, what it's used for is creating custom, you know, uh, pretty much curves or anything like that. It's like moving your edges or points around. Uh, so, you know, this crease is nice and straight, but what if you want to do like something custom, maybe uh, like an indent or a bump out or whatever you want to do. Uh, so this is where the slide tool comes in. Uh, so instead of, you know, moving your points manually using your axes like this, and then messing up and you don't know how far are you pulling and so on and which direction you're moving into let me just undo you can just do the slide tool oops to uh, give you more precise results uh, so let me just try to do a curve in the middle of this crease and uh, the, way, the way you're going to do this is add one more subdivision in the middle here make sure it's in the center and then we're gonna move these points outwards uh, so the crease uh, gets bigger in the middle and then it's gonna be smaller on the sides. Uh, so the shortcut, like I said, is MO and there's not really options there. So what you can do is just click on your points and drag to move them. Click and drag. Same thing for the top, click and drag. Click and drag. And we get something like this. And let me just move these points in a little bit. Maybe something like this. And click Q to see what we got so far. Uh, so as you can see, we're getting a small crease, uh, smaller crease on the sides and bigger crease on the, uh, on the, in the middle. So we'll just add a little more subdivisions there to make it more, uh, a little more detail. So let's add one here. Let's add one here. Let's add one inside. And also inside here, inside here, and let's just double check what it looks like so far. Pretty nice. And we'll just add one more in this area here, and on top as well. Click Q and just deselect. And as you can see, we're getting a nice uh, custom crease going. So the slide tool, uh, this is another way of using it. If you don't want to use it in the point mode, you can use your edge mode. You go in there. And for example, we want the opening of this crease to be really small. Right now it's kind of, uh, you know, pretty big. So let me just do MO for slide tool. And it works in edge mode and point mode. So let me just, what you have to do is uh, click on the edge and slide. Just like that. Same thing here. Slide it in. 
slide it in. And we'll just add maybe one more cut in here to make it really crisp. Okay, and select, click Q. And as you can see, let me just add maybe a light in here so you can see it better. Move it up like this and maybe add shadow in here. And let's just give it a, real, a quick render. So as you can see, we're getting a really nice and crisp crease. And uh, the slide tool really comes in handy when you want to move your edges or points around uh, manually. So you can always, you know, change things up. Uh, for example, we'll just add a few more cuts in, uh, in the middle here. And what you can do now is use your slide tool to move points around. Or if you don't want to use the slide tool, you can always select your points and using your axes move them downwards like this. And as you can see, you're getting a sharp result from that. Just like that. So, you know, the, the slide tool, uh, it comes in handy sometimes. Uh, this shape is really simple, so your axes, you know, can do most of the job for you. You can uh, go around your shape and move your points around easily and your edges. But sometimes when you have something complex, it's not as easy using your axes. You have to rely on the slide tool a little bit to get something uh, custom going. So let me just show you in here, for example, if you want uh, this curve to be uh, instead of being, you know, sharp like here, 90 degrees, we want it to be outwards or uh, going downwards after uh, the opening here. So it's going to go like this and maybe down again. So what you can do is add, let me just go back to edge mode, add another cut in the middle here, like this, center it, and then use your slide tool, MO, go into point mode, and move all these points downwards like this and go back and as you can see we're getting a nice uh, curve going it's really not as sharp as here so let me just try to fix that you have to move these points closer to each other so let me just select these points so it's a, it's a combination of uh, axes and uh, and the slide tool. Let me just move this closer, slide this MO, slide this point in like this. And now click Q again, go back to my object mode. And as you can see, we're getting a nice and sharp result. So the slide tool in combination with your move tool uh, using the axes is really useful. And just give it a render so you guys can see. As you can see, we're getting a custom crease going. You can do anything you want. Now, once you know how to uh, use your slide tool and your move tool, you can pretty much create anything. You can slide your points around, uh, create any kind of indents, uh, you know, bump outs, uh, creases, whatever you want to do. And you can be really controlling of your mesh, keeping it clean, uh, make sure everything's symmetrical. You know, between the points, like here, let me just undo Q. As you can see, right now, the distance between this, these two points and these two points are too big, so what you can do, you can come in here, uh, go back in your uh, points mode, click MO for slide tool, and bring these points closer together. And same thing here. And as you can see, the slide tool follows the edge. It doesn't go, um, you know, different direction it just goes where whatever your edge is that's that's how it slides on your edge and uh, but the move tool you can obviously move it anywhere there's no restrictions so as you can see here we can move it even closer to get a nicer crisp uh, result move this in as well and then click Q go back to object mode and just zoom out give it a render and as you can see we're getting a nice uh, little curve going. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully, you can uh, you know use this tool in your in your uh, process when you're modeling. Uh, I will see you in the next video, guys. Uh, as always, have a good day, and uh, leave it a like if this video helped you. 
Sí, 